Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is set to introduce many different revelations that will lead to saga-wide implications in this story by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to really take advantage of the use of the prequels and the originals and use Episode 9 as a revelation film to change how we view the past eight Star Wars movies. And not just that, but the entire franchise itself and how we're going to look at Star Wars, all done by director J.J. Abrams and creator George Lucas. So on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film. And when it all comes down, to one of the concept art descriptions. This is where things begin to get very exciting for the characters of Darth Vader, the Knights of Ren, and even Kylo Ren. Now specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that a description of Kylo Ren and his Knights of Ren traveling to the Dark Spire, where it's explained that they are in search of the Shrines of the Sith location. It's described that eventually the Forger leads Kylo Ren down to the Shrines of the Sith, where eventually it's unveiled that a large Darth Vader statue resides down here with many other ancient Sith statues. Vader's structure is said to hold many secrets of the past that will change how Star Wars lore will be used and where it's explained that Kylo opens a segment of the Vader statue, where inside Kylo discovers a complex device in the shape of a hexagon that glows in a yellow and red color. It's described that as Kylo holds the secret device of his grandfather, Kylo begins to flow walk and discovers the new ability that his grandfather once used to better understand the ancient Sith and aspects of the past that are not written down in history. Now, it's described that this is how Kylo learns how to flow walk, which is essentially time travel in the form of a simulation, where the environment around Kylo Ren changes, showing him what the Dark Spire looked like thousands of years ago, before the Jedi and Sith Wars, and that this reveals the Dark Spire is a powerful force nexus that holds a connection to the beyond and the spiritual realm. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, we do know that Darth Vader actually went on many different adventures in between the events of, of course, episode three and six, and that there is a lot to tell in between those two big Star Wars movies, which we can thank the comics for and the novels out there for really exploring that big time jump in between those two movies. So in episode nine, we do learn now that Kylo Ren actually discovers the Darth Vader statue within the shrines of the Sith location. However, within that actual statue lies a secret device, an ancient device that is said to hold a connection, not just to the spiritual realm, but also to the ability of flow walking. Now, flow walking is essentially J.J. Abrams' version of time travel, which by the way, we're still not quite sure what the official, what the official name of this power is going to be. In episode nine, it's just that this is basically what it's based on from Star Wars Legends. So for all we know, they could rename it and call it Skywalking in Episode 9, which is a very likely scenario. In Legends, though, it was indeed called Flow Walking. So with this particular moment, we have Kylo Ren learning this ability all thanks to his grandfather's ancient device that was eventually handed down from Supreme Leader Snoke down to Darth Vader at a certain point in time, many years before the events of, of course, you know, uh, Episode 4, A New Hope. So with that being said, Kylo Ren is said to learn a lot more about the Dark Spire and of course how it's said to be a powerful force nexus and holds a connection to the spiritual realm. Now what I like about this is that this is diving deep into ancient Star Wars lore, giving us a different side of the Star Wars franchise that we have never seen before on a Star Wars movie in a live action film I should say specifically. So with that being said, Kylo Ren, you know how he eventually learns more about his grandfather Darth Vader, I think is a very inspiring side of the Rise of Skywalker. The fact that he himself is going to be learning more about Darth Vader, where he's been, what he's actually discovered, and what he locked away inside of, of course, the Dark Spire many years ago, I think is a very interesting side of the story here that Kylo Ren is going to learn a lot from, and is really going to make him evolve as a character from start to finish of Episode 9 by JJ. And that's another thing here, is that we do have to give a lot of credit to Chris Terrio and George Lucas, since they are also paying a lot of attention to Star Wars Legends as a way to really incorporate that and, and really cherry pick those elements to throw it into Episode 9's plot of this film. And the last thing that I really want to go over that I think is very impressive 
is how the dark spire is said to hold a connection to the beyond and the spiritual realm, which is huge, and how this place has existed for thousands of years, including the Forger. The Forger, by the way, is this ancient creature and said to be a mixture of a monkey and a wolf in armor that is said to create armor for warriors and has been creating armor for warriors such as the ancient Sith and the regular Sith during the Old Republic era for many years on end. That's a very interesting side for sure. Anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.